Act. First though, Richard Armitage, he's been a baddie in Robin Hood and the on-screen husband of Dawn French. I loved that episode in The Vicar of Dibley. But tonight, he returns to our screens as MI5 boss Lucas North in Spooks. What's with the prostitute, Captain? Did you like the blonde? Oh, mate, don't even get me started on blondes. I was told no women and children on this boat. You trying to start a riot or something? Mr. Head, I can't deny my men a chance to make some extra money. She'll fetch a couple of thousand at the other end. Good luck. Oh, man, Richard, look what happened. You were oh, here. Oh, no, I, I <laughs> it's just the whole all thing fumbly. fell, and I never numbered the pages. That'll teach me. It means we can talk for ages. Yeah, yeah that's very good. It's actually Monday night that it starts at, oh. uh, at 9 o'clock. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, but that's, uh, that's a clip from episode one. I mean, it looks a lot darker. Could it look any darker, and then suddenly it does? I know. I think this year, series nine, you know, we were all really anxious to make sure that... Uh, you know, it's got, it's got better, it's gone up a notch. The past two series have both been nominated for BAFTAs, so we were really kind of... Uh, thank you. We were really kind of trying to make it uh, as exciting as possible. And it, it really was like shooting um, sort of... Two episodes was like shooting uh, a feature film and... and uh, well, why don't they make it a feature film? Surely that's the most know, automatic transition for it's, it. You're right, and we, we did... Uh, we sat there a lot having discussions about whether to make a movie of spooks, and, of course, it's a, it's a fantasy, but we'd like to do it. Anything's possible. It would be good, wouldn't it? It would be good. It would be good. Now, talk me through these tattoos. Girl oh, chat now. Yeah. We, we want to know all about them. <clears throat> Are they real? Come and find out. That's my <laughs> chat-up line. There's Sorry. the chat-up no. line. <laughs> hey, that would um, probably work. No, they're, they're not real. They're, um, yeah. they're a kind of transfer system, um, but it takes about two hours to put them on. I'm mean, looking at the picture there. Two hours? Yeah. Well, it's front, uh, front and back, and some of them are airbrushed. Uh, and the back is... Uh, but they've all got kind of significance. Why does um, it take so long? Can't they just stick the transfers on? They have to just be done very carefully and then you have to kind of make sure that... Because usually I've got clothes on top, so they kind of break up if, if it kind of... there's any friction going on. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> That's where I'll stop there. I don't need a script to tell me to stop there. Uh, I mean, you play such a mix of characters, which must be really exciting as an actor. Yeah. And obviously we know you from Robin Hood. You love playing the baddies, don't you? You know what? It is it is good fun playing the baddies, and I think when you when you play a, a bad dark character, the writers get, especially on Robin Hood, the writers got very excited about um, you know what storylines they could come up with for me and Lily Allen's dad. Um, Lily Allen's dad. He has no <laughs> name anymore. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good fun. Lucas is a bit more complicated. He's a bit more complex, so um, he has shades of dark and light. So it, it, effectively, is he's uh, a hero, but there's there's a side to him that that is hidden. And how do you go home after playing a character like that? Don't all your friends and family just go, you oh, need to snap out of it now? <coughs> you do, you do take it home a little bit. Do I, you really? Yeah, yeah, I walk around with my collar up. And, <laughs> and uh, your tattoo's still talk on. Talk to Harry right. and he's not there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and what else is there for, for Spooks? I mean, what can we look forward to without you blowing any sort of big surprises? Well, this year, the, um, normally Spooks, you know, deals very much with global politics. That's still there, but it, it's very much um, looking at the microcosm of MI5, really studying what it costs to be a spy. Um, Do you ever get to go and visit MI5? We didn't. We, um, when I first went in, we, we sat down with um, some guy from the CIA and right. the FSB. So we had America and Russia talking at us, and we, we kind of found the middle ground for, for MI5. But, uh, but it must be quite insightful for you. It is, and I go to a lot of fiction for this for this role. So I look at a lot of John le Carre and Frederick Forsyth because I actually think the what what you do in your mind fictionally with a character like this is more interesting than the, the real the real life stuff. No, it's I fascinating, think. but kind of getting to the real life stuff. Yeah, Vicar of Dibley. Yeah. Now come on, everybody remembers you playing the love interest. Yeah. It was fantastic, and we just wanted you guys to stay together forever. I know. I, I still, I still hope and pray that one day they'll kind of pull the sets out of storage and say we're going to do another, another special because it was such a joy to be part of. And, and she seems wonderful to work with. I love she her. is. She's such a warm woman, and, and and I think because it's a live studio audience, she really kind of gets gets them excited. And it's it was the, the closest I've been to doing theatre for a long time and, and I think the the atmosphere and, uh, and you know the whole shoot was just fun we laughed from beginning to end so
It was wonderful. And tell me quickly about your circus skills, because I'm intrigued. I mean, are you going to be juggling over in that kitchen? Uh, yeah, what I'm going to have, have, have a go with those to? kitchen knives, actually. To... Oh, the knives, <laughs> juggling the... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was my first job um, ever. It was a way of me getting an equity card. Do you know, I knew you were going to say that, to get the equity You've card. done it, haven't oh, you? We've all been You've there. Done... <laughs> we've all been there. Yeah. I had to uh, be the voice of a raspberry. Right, there you go. <laughs> So I didn't know what was in store for me. I, I kind of went over. There was a contract. There was an equity card. I got there and, and you I got was, it. I got the job. And, now you're and I was throwing batons at, at jugglers and shoveling right. elephant right. poo. We might. Oh, lovely. We might recreate the first bit of that. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. We'll be seeing more of him in just in a second.